Sometimes your Cisco router or switch has a password and you can't figure out what it is, you don't remember it or you've lost it. So in these situations, it's time to go to password recovery. So here we have a device. I press enter and it looks like it looks fine. Um, I go ahead and type in enable and it prompts me for a password. I don't know what it is. I guess a couple times and I give up. So at this point, um, if you have the user mode here, you can go ahead and type in show version. And the show version command is not necessary, but it does help to know, to note which setting the configuration register is currently set to. So I can see it's set to 2102. 2102 requires passwords, and the reason it requires passwords is because it loads the configuration from the NVRAM or the startup configuration, and I want it to not load the startup configuration. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off my router and turn it back on again. And when I turn it off and turn it back on again, it will go ahead and start booting, the boot process. And so I want to press Control and Break. It's not the same thing as Control C, so I press Control Break. And this will take me to this prompt right here that says ROM on. All right. At this prompt, I can type in comp reg to change my configuration register from 0x2102 to 0x2142. That's the register value I want. At this point, I am ready to boot my system. Now, if I type in boot, it will load it as 2102. If I type reset, it will load it as 2142. So I'm going to type in reset. And it goes ahead and it starts loading the operating system. Alright, now that the operating system is loaded, it asked me if I wanted to go into the initial configuration dialog. So the answer is no. You don't want to go into the configuration dialog. So you press enter. And at this point, you are in a clean looking machine, but you can still load the configuration. So it says router right here. So I do enable. And I'm not prompted for a password, which is good. Now I can do a copy run or a copy start run. So I'm copying it from start configuration to running configuration. This will load all my configurations. You can see suddenly my host name changed. All my configurations are now changed. And I can even type in show run if I wanted to see information about the password. Um, if it is unencrypted and regular enable password, you can see it right here. Um, if it's encrypted, you might not be that helped. But the rest of the configuration is all in place, and so you're fine. Uh, at this point, what I would probably want to do is go into configuration terminal and change the password to something I remember. So I do enable password and maybe I would call it um, Portland because that's a super secure password for this machine. Exit out, I can then write my configuration if I want, or I can do a copy, run, start. But the thing is that at this point, it will still boot up without loading the configuration, so that won't really help me completely. What I really want to do is have it boot up and load the configuration at boot time. So I need to change the configuration register from 2142 back to 2102. So I do comp T again, and then I type in configure or config register, I do 0x 2102. Exit out, and then I write that with a copy, run, start, 
It's now saved over the start configuration, and the next time this thing boots up, it will load up its configuration register as 2102, and I will be prompted for the password, and everything will be better again. And that's how you do password recovery.